Wow, this is an interesting question. Given to us is a square and a circle which is touching this green line segment and two of the sides of the square. This length of the chord joining this point of tangency is given as 6 cm and same line segment when extended it's forming this red line with line length 4 cm. Exciting part is with this limited data can you find the area of square? Okay, let's check this interesting solution. So let's start by extending this CB length and here let's extend this green line segment DI to meet here at point K. Now if you look carefully from point K two tangents are drawn on the circle. So they have to be equal in length and thus these angles will also be equal that's theta degree each. And this angle yes vertically opposite angle so this has to be theta. And this angle here, if you look carefully, DA and CK, these are parallel line, GE is transversal, and these angles are alternate interior angles, so this has to be theta degrees. Now, if you look carefully, this green triangle here and this pink triangle here, they are similar as they have got two angles equal to each other. So, by angle angle similarity, we can say that this green triangle and pink triangle, they are similar and thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So we can say that GK upon ED that will be equals to GF upon FE. But GF upon FE that is 6 by 4 or 3 is to 2. And thus the ratio of GK and ED that will also be 3 is to 2. So if GK length is 3K or 3X then ED length will also be 2X. So this length GK is 3x and if you look carefully then this is an green triangle is an isosceles triangle so FK that will also be 3x ED is 2x that is this length is 2x this red triangle is a isosceles triangle so DF will be 2x and how about DH from point D DF and DH these are two tangents drawn by theorem they will be equal in length so dh length will also be same 2x. Let's assume the radius of circle is r centimeter. So og length will also be r. Cg length if you look carefully this figure formed here is a square as all the angles are of 90 degree and adjacent sides are equal. So cg length will be same r centimeter. hc length that will also be r centimeter. Now if you look at this big triangle C K C D applying Pythagoras theorem we will get 2x plus r square plus 3x plus r square that will be equal to hypotenuse square which is nothing but 2x plus 3x that is 5x square. Simplifying it let's open the bracket applying a plus b whole square so we'll get this first term let's expand the second term that's second term here and that's RHS that's 5x square or 25x square. Now let's take everything on one side. So we have 25x square minus 4x square minus 9x square that's give me 12x square and then r square plus r square that goes on the other side that gives me minus 2r square and minus 10xr. So let's first divide the equation by 2. So we'll get 6x square plus sorry minus 5xr minus r square is equal to 0. Now this particular equation let's treat it as quadratic in terms of variable x. So this is your x square term. This is terms in x and this I'll treat as constant. Solving it by splitting the middle term. So minus 5xr we'll split it as minus 6xr plus xr. And simplifying it, we'll get it factorized as 6x plus 5 times of x minus r is 0. Now here if you look carefully, the first term will get x is negative 5 by 6, which is not possible. Second factor gives me x equals to r. So this variable x which we had assumed is actually equals to r centimeter. So here let's do is extend this GO length to meet the other side at point M. 
Now GO is R centimeter. OM OM will be 2x, but x is R, so OM length is 2R. ME length for that DM length DM length is same as R centimeter. ME will be 2x minus R, but x is equals to R, so this is 2R minus R or R centimeter. Now in this blue right angle triangle, let's apply Pythagoras theorem. We'll get 2R plus R, that's 3R square plus R square, that's equals to hypotenuse square or 10 square. Simplifying it, we'll get 10R square is equals to 100 or R square is equals to 10. And area of this square, so area of square is side length square, side length is 2R plus R or 9R. So area of square is 9R square. And R square is 10, putting this value will get area of this square as 90 centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.